Okay, guys and girls, welcome to a new video for the 2019 Mazda 3 GT. This is my wife's car, and as a surprise, I bought her the factory genuine Mazda parts, uh, sunshade, vent shade, something they call it like that. Well, these are acrylic stick on. They do have a little tab. Sorry, it's there it is that gets squinched down right into there. And it does have some slip-on tabs that are gonna go, I'm gonna put this down here. They're gonna go over this. Slip on here, slip on here. There's gonna be a little bracket that goes in between here with a little, just a little push tab, like almost like a nut. And, uh, but for the most part, these things just stick down with double-sided tape. Uh, you know that everybody's familiar with this is the back one they go right about here uh, it's kind of hard to shoot this and install it at the same time um, test fit it uh, clean your your edges with uh, some uh, alcohol and make sure there's no residue left if you've waxed your pillars make sure you hit the alcohol here because they do stick right about in this area here hey, there's me in the video and uh, this is just gonna add a real subtle look um, it kind of br brings down the, the roof line look to me and uh, the windows can be cracked a little bit um, while you're driving yet no rain to get in um, so I'm gonna get to install these and I'll show you what it looks like when we're done all right there we go that's a super easy installation basically lining up the little bracket in the tab on the back one uh, it is the easiest and start by applying the tape pushed here and in there and oh boy, I love that look on those. That looks really good. Let's see. I guess the Mazda doesn't have auto roll up windows. Uh, let me get in there and get the windows rolled up and I'll show you what it looks like with the windows up. Done, there it is with the windows up. This thing is looking so good. I just like how uh, how really tight they are to the glass. I can barely get a finger up uh, in there. I just love the way it brings down the the roof line. You know, just a little bit of flare up there. It's very subtle but neat. A very uh, maybe maybe dare I say JDM style. I don't know. I don't know if they're into that over there. But there it is with the visors on. Those are genuine factory Mazda parts. Bought at the Mazda dealer. I'm sure you can get them cheaper somewhere else uh, than walking in and paying for them. But, you know, I'm not sponsored by Mazda or nothing. I just do it because it looks good. And uh, thanks for staying to the end. Hope this video influences somebody to do modifications to their car. Hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. And I'll try to answer questions. And hit that like button. Everybody have a good day. All right. I've started on the rear spoiler. Basically, this is just a bunch of push tabs, so it's just a matter of, well, there was five screws and bolts, and they're inside. And there was one harness to undo, the instructions are very clear, and then other than that, it's just pressure, uh, popping it off. I'm going to show you the bottom side of the factory spoiler, and you can see here, I've already dremeled the hole. And actually has crosshairs already printed right where we're going to drill. And that's where the screws are. And then on this side, it said drill a pilot hole first. And then score this until you can just like pry it and pop it off. And I'll be able to do that. Actually, it, it pretty much just did. And this is plenty of room for the bolt to go in here. And I think the third... The third bolt is like there's a marking somewhere that in this area over here. But as you can see, these are the push things. Uh, before you reassemble it, you want to make sure they're all the way over. And I believe, yeah. So upon pulling these, these look like they broke, but they came with new ones um, as part of the installation kit. And I figured that those would break. They're usually a one-time thing. The other clips that were hard to get off were these, and you know, per the instructions, I heated them up, uh, and they came off just fine. So, uh, on with getting these uh, holes tapped uh, to mount the spoiler over there too. 
with the holes drilled out and I test fitted this I already peeled the double sided tape off and I lined up the holes perfectly uh, dropped it down on this surface here I used the box that it came in and a towel I lined my holes up perfectly here here and here didn't tighten them all the way picked it up looked at it felt the this is all perfectly flush on both sides and then I went in and torqued them down to like 10 or 12 pounds like it said and um, now I'm ready to actually just install this boiler back onto the Mazda and uh, like I said I got to replace these little clips here first the wing is done very I don't know this is probably a do-it-yourself uh, dribbling those holes off there's lots of clearance you don't have to worry about poking through and even if you did poke through it'd be hidden uh, underneath this uh, drilled out those holes like it said 10 millimeter holes um, I elongated it just a tad um, I didn't use the paper templates that came with this I literally had everything upside down I test fitted it before I redid that uh, undid that double-sided tape and it looked great the alignment through here was just what I wanted everything was where it needed to be so I knew if I dropped it straight down those holes those three holes that it would it align and then I just stick it and uh, look, you can uh, see how it does you know it actually has a little pass through uh, this is the jet black wing uh, you can get it color matched to your car from the Mazda dealership I think it's about 450 I think um, you know every dealer could do you different discounts um, Wow I absolutely love it on the back end I love the way it extends out uh, you know there's no lights in it no wiring you said to disconnect the third brake light to get it here let's just stop here for a second and look at this that looks amazing there's a nice side shot that's way cool you know so we have the black roof uh, we had it wrapped in a gloss black vinyl and uh, I think if the roof hadn't been black I may have actually done a color matched spoiler across there with the black underneath it it would have looked nice also um, but that's your choice heck you could do a different color on a different color car you know if you have a white one you could do a black spoiler whatever you want really so there it is all done so thanks for watching to the end I hope this helps somebody decide on this part I think it looks amazing I love what it did to the back end of this car Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. We're going to do even more mods to the Mazda. I think it's time for a new muffler system. Probably just axle back. You know, she doesn't want it to be like a roaring loud. Um, but all oh, this thing's looking good. Lowered. Vent visor, spoiler. I can't wait to see her reaction. Uh, if you want to see her reaction to seeing all this for the first time, because it was a complete surprise. Make sure you go back to the video of uh, doing the wheels, uh, installing the springs, I mean. And um, I'll put that link in the bottom of this video. So thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good day. Bye.